This is Las Vegas Real Estate Now, where we bring you the three E's, educate, empower, and engage. I'm your host, Harvey Blankfeld, and we've been selling homes here in Southern Nevada since 1988. We also have Tracy Rucha, who's the president of Equity Title. Uh, Trace, I've been meaning to talk to you for a while about these commercials I hear. I know. Right? I know. You and I have been talking. Yes, and you And you've been great about, about doing your research on it and finding out a little more about it. Because we hear these commercials... Where they say, you know, they warn you that people are going to steal your home Mm -hmm. and there's this insurance out there to protect you from it. Correct. Um, I'm not going to go into the name of it, but what they do is is they try to sell you a policy to protect you from these people who will apparently uh, somehow get get you removed from title and get them put on title. Um, And that's, you know, when we do transactions, we have you guys provide title insurance. Absolutely. To protect the buyer. Yep. And the seller. And the mortgage company. And the mortgage company. Remember. From something very much like this. Mm-hmm. Um, and here, I, my understanding is based on our conversations here in Nevada, they, they, they can't sell you this other policy that we were talking about. Well, um, after you and I spoke about it, I've done a lot of research on it and, um, and even have gotten our corporate attorney involved. Yes. And he's actually now going around and speaking about it in the different states. Um, but there's a few states that won't allow the company to access what we call our title plant. Right. Um, in the title plant, what it does is it gives us all the documentation to make sure when we're transferring the title of a home into somebody's name that the title is clear, meaning it's clean. You have no judgments or liens or no um, unknown buyer or owner of record, so to speak. So um, our plant here in the state of Nevada does not allow outside parties to access it. So basically, who does this affect? Right. Okay. It affects um, uh, uh, individuals who own maybe, let's say, land. And no, normally, if you own land, you own it free and clear. Right. Um, or even residential uh, homes or condos or whatever you have. If you, yeah. Is lo- you own it free and clear or have large equity in the home. Right. So it goes back down to the... Um, uh, identity theft. So basically, this company came out once uh, the the credit card company or the credit check companies got um, right, right. hacked, so to speak. Right. They're like, oh, we can save you now that your identity's been hacked. So basically, a, a criminal will come in and steal your identity, create false identification, and if you have a property free and clear, mm. they will get mostly a hard money lender to loan them money, right. saying that they are you, mm. okay? Because um, the hard money lender doesn't want jump make you jump through the hoops as, let's say, like a mortgage company. Right. So, if they follow the rules that are laid out, they're going to go through a title search and discover, discover stuff that they don't want them to discover. Right. Right. So the criminal who is, you know, taking over your identity, goes to the hard money lender, signs the paper, gets the check on your property, you know, for a hundred, two hundred, three hundred thousand, depending on whatever it's worth, right. walks away with the money. And then the actual owner sitting there and after three months gets a notice of default on their property because you haven't been paying the mortgage. Yes. But they're saying, I don't have a mortgage. It just alerts you, basically, yeah, is right. what it does kind of like you know if you've signed up for any kind of identity theft protection mm-hmm. you know they might send you an email or a text message hey your social security number was ran at this car car place let's right. say if you haven't done it your identity has been has been sold compromised right. correct it's already been done and that's what this this particular company does it's after the document is recorded mm. do they then identify the homeowner and say hey something was recorded on your property right. it doesn't save you it doesn't protect you and those are the two main things you need to be aware of. All it does is let you know of the problem earlier. You've been listening to Las Vegas Real Estate Now with host Harvey Blankfeld. Please tune in every Saturday at 11 a.m. right here on News Talk 720 KDWN.